screen. Entering Earth atmosphere at 115 west. Hear you loud and clear, EDC. We are narrowing in on target. ETA, 26 seconds. Action! Just what we've been waiting for, huh, Strafe? Why did Rodimus prime a sinus to this boring science unit anyway? Something about us still being new and having to work with the humans. Who cares? I mean, we got us some fast action. Hard action! Action hard and fast! Action to get the old pumps pumping! Action to... Huh? Oh, great! Is everybody in this planetary system crazy? Guys are in trouble. We're just gonna sit here or what? Let's do something. Well, one thing we should do is give this our considered attention, Afterburner, and not <laughs> rush off half cocked. Well, now I would say Afterburner didn't want to hear what you were saying. and energy levels somewhere in his central power core. Afterward! Nose cone! Pin him with a crossfire! Activate now! Thanks for the assist, Lightspeed. We could have handled that two-headed monstrosity ourselves, of course. Of course. But this way was simpler. Unfortunately, Scattershot, whoever was piloting this old rust heap seems to have run off. Rust heap? That's my pretty lady, Lazy Sue, you're talking about. And, uh, talk about pretty ladies. Hello there. Dirk Manis, free trader from Epsilon Ariadne. Just another odd human custom, I suppose. <laughs> and, uh, you're? Uh, confused. I, uh, M Marissa Fairborn, C Captain Earth Defense Command. And you're under arrest for violating Earth Defense Zone, traitor. Hmm, beautiful. Call me Dirk. And, um, in case you didn't notice, that Terracon tried to kill me. Hmm, an important point. Do you have any idea why? Uh, might have something to do with the Quintesson base I came across on one of those terraform moons out near Saturn. A Quintesson base? Inside the solar system? Where? I'm a traitor, Fairborn. Pay my fee and I'll lead you to their nest. Up to you. How long are they gonna keep that up? Till they decide whether to trust you. In Computron mode, Technobots have the computational ability of 200 supercomputers. When it comes to calculating odds, Computron rarely makes a mistake. And if you're a gambling man, but uh, no matter what he says, you trust me, don't you? Uh, not really. Datum, presence and activity of Terracon. Datum, condition of traitorship. Datum, Quintesson intentions toward Earth. Conclusion, probability of Quintesson base secreted in solar system, 89.988730%. Action, repair traitorship. Pay trader's fee. Follow to Quintesson base tomorrow, 0800 hours. I don't care what Computron says. Until we leave for Saturn, I'm not letting you out of my sight. Darling lady, I wouldn't have it any other way. As long as we're here, would you like to dance? 
I never learned. It's easy. Trust me. Still don't get it, do you? Sure, the original deal was for two million credits, but uh, that was before you tried to double-cross an ambushed Lazy Sue with your pet terror con. An unfortunate error of judgment. Yeah, and it'll cost you. The price just tripled. Unacceptable. You want what I got or don't you? The recreator is crucial to our operation in this solar system. Then you've got no choice. Pay me. Agreed. Pleasure doing business with you, pal. Wait! What of the Technobots? Well, just to show no hard feelings, I'll uh, throw them in for free. Trust me. Hello, Fairborn. <laughs> I was uh, wondering when you'd show up. That kind of mistake gets you killed. Sell your smuggled goods to the Quintessons. Lead the Technobots into a trap. Don't let me stand in your way. You think I won't? Maybe you're right. But that doesn't mean I'm ready to be jailed by you! Uh. Or anyone. Sorry, Fairborn. If you weren't who you are, and if I weren't who I am, maybe we could have had something special. But we'll never know, will we? I still don't know if it's right flying off with Captain Manus. We never checked with Captain Fairborn. Since when do we have to ask humans what to do? She didn't bother to show up. And if she needs us, nose cone and afterburner stayed behind, right, Scattershot? Right? Yeah, and who needs them anyway? The day three Technobots can't handle one little two-headed Terracon is the day I retire. Ha! Two million credits tripled makes six million credits, less 300,000 for outfitting and expenses. Leaves a clear profit of 5,700,000 creds galactic. Wish you could see this, Fairborn. Rings. I can't believe I'm finally out here. Say something, Lightspeed. Daydreaming, Strafe. Or maybe I should say star dreaming. Uh huh. I've been waiting for this chance to explore space. Uh huh. Well. But since leaving Cybertron, the only stars I've seen are in the sky over Autobot City. Uh huh. Really? Well, I. The stars, the planets, the thousand moons, like jewels in an alien crown. Strafe! said anything about an ambush. Controllable if we did not take control. The terror cons have their use, free trader, but they lack self-discipline. The recreator, please. 
Know how it works? We have studied its specifications. Blot, come here! Blot! Interesting. Blood feels sick. A molecular disassembler reassembler. Most useful. That's not half. Any germs your buddy might have had inside him are gone now. A healing device as well. Satisfactory, free trader. We pay the price agreed. Glad we finally got together on this, guys. Shake. Uh, yeah, well, uh, use it in good health. And if there's ever anything else I can smuggle for you guys... We'll be in touch. Slimy, worm-fingered creep. Unlikable, dry-skinned biped. Ah, uh, money. Lovely, lovely m Mimic dust. Another lousy double cross. Okay, Quince. I had an idea you'd try a stunt like that, so I left a little surprise of my own. A micro-sized nuclear nullifier that'll melt your new toy to hot slag faster than you can say. Triple Cross! While I was planting a bomb on the Recreator, they planted one on Lazy Sue! This stinks! Ugh, those five-headed creeps are worse than I am! And that's saying a lot, pal. Oh, hi, guys. Am I glad to see you? You, you don't think I had anything to do with that ambush, do you? I was just as surprised as you! More surprised, if you want to know the truth. I honestly did look out behind you! Won't work, Dirk. No more tricks. You're leading us to the Quintesson base, and that's... <laughs> next time, maybe you'll trust me. If there is a next time! Shoot there! My ship! Oh, my beautiful lazy shoe! Forget your ship. Those Sharktacons won't be tangled forever. We've got to get out of here. A flanking movement might be more... Hit him hard! Just once, I wish he'd listen. Just when it was getting fun, we could have handled that. Yeah. Yo, Fairborn! You're fantastic. Yes. So are you, Dirk. <laughs> what was that for? Want a list? Let's leave Manus here to rot and get you guys back to Earth for repairs. The shape you butts are in, you'll never make it. Not while the Quints have the Recreator. The what? Molecular disassembler. Nearly unlimited range. Deadly, but I know how to disarm it. I'll bet you do. Uh, we should consider this. But in our present injured condition, we can't form Computron. Trust me. You really hate me, don't you? Whatever gave you that idea? All I ever wanted was the money, Fairborn. It was never anything personal. I like you. I know. That's why I'm mad. See, in spite of all you've done, part of me almost likes you, too. Oh. Oh. 
I'm not such a bad guy after all. Sometimes I'm so clever I can't stand it. An effective stratagem, free trader. Yet I am surprised you brought them here, considering the outcome of our last transaction. What was I gonna do, flag a cab? I'm a couple billion miles from the nearest starport, pal. And besides, you've got my money. That's all you care about, Dirk. To you, money is everything. Hunger, ah, hungry! Rawr! Rawr! Rip metal! Eat food! Ah. Aren't you going to do something? We are doing something, Captain Fairborn. We're thinking. The actions of Trader Manus are quite intriguing. So we're all set, right? A thousand creds and a ship back home. There's just one thing I want to do myself. Those tin toy soldiers cost me a lot of time and energy. Here's where I pay them back. Manus, you lousy! Terracons protect! Life's just full of surprises. Terracons form a bobbinus! Destroy the Technobots! Technobots form Computron! Estimated probability of victory in one to one combat 48.027%. Fourteen degrees off center. Calculating return fire pattern. Why didn't you tell me what you were planning? You're not much of an actress, Fairborn. The Quins had to believe you thought I betrayed you. I did! Haven't I always told you, trust me? Calculated force necessary to activate Terracon timer mechanism, 16 megahertz. Computing angle of fire, positioning laser cannon, fire! <laughs> Estimated probability of Terracon victory over Computron, 4.1%. Scoot! What I tell you, Fairborn, we make a great team. Just great. I wish we could give you the creds the Quintessons left behind on Titan, Dirk, but the EDC has a rule against paying rewards. Hey, no problem. I'm just glad you guys helped repair Lazy Sue. She looks almost as pretty as you. Captain Fairborn! We just got word from the EDC vault those creds we took from the Quintessons, they're gone! Dirk, you didn't... Manus! Well, should we go after him? No, I don't think so. I've got a feeling he'll be back. Mimic dust? Fairborn, you conned me! <laughs> From the secret files of Teletran 2, in the days of Megatron, Decepticons developed the art of espionage using cassette technology. Their first cassette, Laserbeak, could fly undetected into any Autobot stronghold, record information, and then return to base. 
Then the Decepticons decided to increase their spying abilities with Ratbat. As a bat, Ratbat can hide in crevices that Laserbeak can't reach, and he's especially effective in tunnels, caves, or in the darkness of space. Ratbat reports on the Autobots' most carefully guarded secrets. The Autobots had no choice but to strike back at these Decepticon techniques of stealth, building a force of cassette transformers of their own with Blaster as their guardian. They constructed Ramhorn, the rhino, who can use animalistic force if cornered, and Steeljaw, the lion, who can crawl through the foliage of any alien world to sneak up on Decepticons. They also bolstered their cassette force with Rewind and Eject, who can transform to robot mode and use more conventional fighting force techniques. <laughs> 